So let's jump over to the PowerPoint. So for our next trick, we're going to go through automotive example. And this one is a crazy one. It is another, believe it or not, I believe this was also a white light example as well, where they scan the whole body with the uh, uh, automotive part. It's a body panel with um, a white light scanner. Um, so it is a door. So this is another crazy elaborate one. So I'm just going to do the highlights. We spent a lot of time with the first one. So what we're going to do here is just go through the highlights. I mean, this is a lot of cool modeling here and yeah, it's just a really crazy application. So we'll go through it and look at it, but I'll go a little faster with this one. So we're not going to uh, spend tons and tons of time. So let's jump over to DX. So, all right, for this last one, again, I uh, we're just going to cover part of it. And it's more just to show what's possible in here and less about let's do a tutorial or explain some of the details of this. Um, so one f significant factor on this one was the fact that we had the ability, if we roll back here, this was a massive, massive project. So they did this one in stages, and they even had multiple people working on it. So one person did this portion and imported this as a solid body. So the other person could go around the outside and add the extra features around the outside. So you'll see here, as I go forward, you'll see that they're adding uh, the boundary of this part by modeling it. And I'll just go forward a bunch of steps at a time here. So you see here how it's accidentally clicked measure radius there. So we're fitting surfaces And I'll go ahead and turn on the mesh so you can kind of see here. Fitting the, the face surface there, fitting these, these uh, surfaces here. And if we just hide some of them, because it's going to get crazy real quick here. You'll see that they uh, are modeling this portion right now. And we'll just roll forward another bunch of steps here. So I'll just zoom out and you'll see here, we'll turn off the mesh that they went ahead and trimmed that all together and created a solid for that section. And look at how long this is. <laughs> this is a crazy amount of work here. So now they're fitting more pieces there. And we'll just keep going forward. So you see that they created that boundary shape. Just going around it in layers and uh, modeling the surfaces as they go here. few more surfaces there and again I'm just gonna jump way forward here now we trimmed it a bunch together as a uh, solid so you see they've gone all the way around here and I'll turn on the mesh just to see where we're at So now we have more surfaces for this area here. All of that. As you can see how elaborate this is, this is 
Just a lot of work here. I'll turn off the mesh again just so you can see where we're at again. Modeling all of this, all of that. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. And we'll keep going forward. Just a couple more stops on this train before our final destination here. So we did, uh, they went ahead and pulled these parts and uh, cut those away. So we'll just roll forward here to the next one. You see in this spot, we're working over here, cutting stuff away now. And again, just a few more stops. You see there that we finished cutting away a lot of the latch. And they uh, added some of these divots there. And a roll to the end. And in this instance, this is just part of a very large project where they're going to send this out to somebody else to do to integrate this into their work. So there is the surface, here is the scan. We'll just turn that off, look at that scan. It's a great data set. Turn, this, turn the scan in, the surface on. Just a beautiful project there. So that one is um, mainly just a, just a showcase piece of what's possible inside of DesignX.